Good morning guys, good morning and welcome to the third day of my little Chinese New Year adventure here in Zhejiang. Um, we just got up, it's 8 a.m. and uh, I over here in the kitchen, she's preparing our breakfast. We just had some um, soup with the uh, hong dou inside, the red beans. And um, after this we're going to the countryside. Going to the countryside to see some family members and I'm really excited to see how they live and uh, taste their food and so on. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for today. I'm trying to keep myself awake because it's really early and I didn't sleep. I just slept very late last night. <laughs> I'm impressed how you, he can drink the baju in the morning as well. <laughs> like the rice powder and then we just boil it and mix it with some dishes that we didn't finish yesterday oh traditional breakfast style here in Chuji. just arrived in this uh, little uh, town i think it's a town looks a little bit like a village but a town and uh, i have no idea where we are but uh, <laughs> it's very interesting there are all slogans on the wall i'm gonna show you and people are very excited to see a foreigner and yeah we're just visiting family here i'm a little tired sorry guys because we drove for a while and we were all kind of sleeping <laughs> i'm just gonna show you the slogan here so you remember to be good to your friends and family and party i can't really read it i'm sorry uh yeah i know some of you guys can read it so please Help me translate. I think it says Xiao Sheng You Sheng and then something is gone. Guo Li Min I don't know, Li Jia something. I don't know. Please let me know guys in the comments below if you know what this means. <laughs> I'm not sure. Just found a little dog. Just randomly walking around here. Looking in this little village. Hey, Shelko. I don't really trust the dogs here. <laughs> They're not usually very friendly. <laughs> oh, but it likes me. It's following me. Ooh. Yeah, so this is where we are right now. It's really bad weather today. Sorry for that. Shelko, come on. Here. Come on. Come on, Bobby. Hey. Huh? Ni hao. We went to my friend's family member's house and then we took all the food we had just bought in the little supermarket and prepared it on the table. We also took some of their homemade wine and poured it into five small cups. You can see here there are five cups and seven plates. They said something about the fact that the odd numbers were important when you are honoring your ancestors. I'm still not sure why and my friend couldn't tell me why. So anyways, after preparing all the food and the wine, we all stood in front of the table and while Gugu was wishing all the best for the ancestors, we all moved our hands back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> After the honoring of the ancestors with the food, we also burned some paper money for them. So we are basically just driving around to different small villages to visit different family members and uh, burn paper and food for uh, paper money and food for the ancestors. And um, <clears throat> yeah, now we just ended. Uh, now we just arrived in another village. And it's still really cold outside. Me. <laughs> We're just inside her family's house here. It's very interesting. Look, the old architecture here. It's really cool. And we're just looking at a, a slogan. We think it's from the Mao era. So we just ask uh, Sujia's mom to help us uh, translate. <laughs> So the slogan over here on the wall. How do we read it? Uh, Sujia, from up here? Uh, it's Pishu Dou Si. Pishu Dou Si. Mm. 
啊，啊、嗯，共产主义不是要求有要有公心嘛，无私嘛，那就你有私心就要斗争，与有私心杂念的人，与有私心的人斗争。嗯嗯。批修嘛，就是修正主义，就是。我们信仰的是共产主义，现阶段是社会主义。但是修正主义呢，就是把在社会主义往嗯那个向共产主义进化的阶段呢，出现了一种他认为是不好的一种倾向，就叫修正主义了。So in the afternoon, after having a delicious lunch in uh, the local restaurant, uh, we went back to uh, Gugi's house to uh, have a rest and talk to more family members. Talk, 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 talk. All day, all night. I'm telling you, my Chinese is just like skyrocketing right now because everything is in Chinese. Uh, I talk some English with my friend, but usually we speak Chinese. When other people are around, we talk marketing yesterday. And my vocabulary on that front is like, new. Um, <laughs> so I learn a lot these days, which is amazing. I really appreciate that they take me in as another family member and they take me around everywhere. Right now, we're in this, it's afternoon now. We are in this uh, little forest park where where we're watching, looking at the trees. <laughs> the trees, it's a, a special tree for this kind of special knot they have here. It looks like the tree we use for Christmas. I'm not sure if you guys know it. I'm gonna show you the name. I have no idea. I just smile when they keep talking about it. But yeah, it basically looks like the Christmas tree. See, like this, it's very nice. So just walking around here looking, ooh, see, so the nut is called Xiangfei, I just heard that, my friend just told me, and uh, I assume that this should look like a Xiangfei, it does. <laughs> Xiangfei is like this little small nut, it looks like this, and then you have to like click it open and then you have to pull, pull, peel it and then you can eat the nut inside, which is like, uh, it has this funny uh, black thing outside but yellow inside. Um, it tastes okay. I'm not a big fan but um, yeah a special tea from here. Xiangfei and you can hear the fireworks in the back and it's cold today. It was so warm yesterday. Today it's just like ah so cold with the wind here in Zhejiang province. Trying out yet another funny snack here. This is Huolongguo the dragon fruit. Just opening it up and see what is inside. Yeah, I have a feeling it's um, dragon fruit bread with some kind of jelly inside maybe. I eat so many funny things <laughs> when I'm here with the Chinese people. <laughs> we eat so many funny things, <laughs> especially the snacks. They taste really interesting. <laughs> Ling Ling is in her princess chair. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we went to that forest thing and then we went for a dinner at home at Google's place and we had uh, a chill in the evening and now we're out for an evening walk and because I forgot my charger, my camera charger, which is really, really important for you and me, remember, no battery, no videos. <laughs> um, so we went to... Um, uh, Wang Baba's uh, friend's restaurant again to get the charger because we borrowed the car from him and they put it here in reception and I think Wang Baba and Gugu just went to go and talk to somebody because they're like uh, you know they're born here so they're really uh, I don't know they have a lot of friends and they know everybody uh, so yeah anyways just sitting here in my princess chair uh, waiting thank you guys for watching today's video it was uh, I'm very happy that you are here I hope you enjoyed have a great day evening wherever you are in the world and Ling Ling is out see ya again tomorrow probably see ya and see ya bye bye